As a writer, it's always nice to carry around a light and portable laptop for me to do my work. All I need is good Wi-Fi and a nice cup of coffee. Although laptops are getting smaller and thinner every day, there's still the issue of carrying around a 14 to 15 inch laptop until now. My name is Tarvin from KL Gadget TV and this is my review of the Lenovo Yoga Book. Looking at the yoga book, it can really fool you into thinking that it's a stylish looking notebook. But don't be fooled because it's actually a full-fledged laptop. The body is made of magnesium aluminium with a watch-like strap connecting the two halves of the laptop together. On one side, you'll find a micro USB port, a micro HDMI port and a micro SD slot. On the other side, there is a 3.5mm jack, the power button and a volume rocker. Flipping it over, you will find the full HD 10-inch touchscreen with a flat surface but when turned on, a nice white light illuminates the engravings on the flat surface showing off the touch keyboard with a trackpad. Similar to other yoga laptops out there, this laptop can be put into different configurations such as laptop, tent and tablet mode. On the spec side, it does not stand out much as it comes with an Intel Atom 4-core processor running up to 2.4GHz, 64GB of storage, a DDR3 4GB RAM and a 8500mAh battery. There is also an Android version, but the model that we are reviewing is the Windows 10 version. Lenovo mentioned that it will give you a 13-hour battery life, but I would say 13 hours is slightly pushing it. But based on my test, as long as you're not running intensive app, then it's pretty close, about 10 hours. It works like any normal laptop. There are signs of slowdown when loading up certain websites, but once it settles down, it works pretty fine. Because it's running on an Atom processor, intensive apps will show an obvious slowdown, but simpler apps will not be that obvious. I've played Hearthstone, and the frame rate drops are pretty obvious when deploying abilities and cards. But when it comes to actually playing a match, it works pretty fine. However, games such as Diablo 3 will show obvious slowdown to the point where we needed to turn the graphics down to a bare minimum to actually get some decent frame rates. The keyboard is also pretty tricky to get used to due to the fact that you're not actually pressing physical buttons but typing on the surface. To give a rough idea, close your eyes and visualize a keyboard on your table. Then, try typing a sentence. That is roughly what typing on the yoga book will feel. But when pressing on the pen icon on the top right of the keyboard, the backlight will turn off and convert the surface into a drawing tablet. Lenovo was also nice enough to include a stylus with the laptop that you can use on that surface. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the feel of it. But don't take my word for it because I am really bad at drawing and my handwriting will give you a heart attack. So we brought in someone who is actually good at both to give a first-hand opinion. So here I have Joy, who I brought in to actually test out the tablet's drawing capabilities. And I have three simple questions for you. So the first question is, um, how do you feel about this uh, drawing pad? Uh, it is good. Everything's quite smooth and the functions are like quite there's a wide variety of functions there yeah it's quite different from the other types of tablets and the drawing pads that i've used okay so for the second question is do you feel that drawing on this could actually utilize all your skills or are you limited by the functions that are on it um for this it's only for sketching so if you are a big fan of sketches and not some elaborate artwork or just some simple digital artwork that you're gonna digitalize it later on. This is definitely easiest way to transfer it to like a digital way. So for the last question is, do you think that this could replace your physical drawing? For normal sketches, which you're gonna put into digital format, or you just want like a quick, simple uh, digital art, then yes, this could definitely be the easiest way to do it. But if you're a still traditional artist and you still want to see your colours come to life on paper, well, I'll still stick to sketchbook. So there you go, a first-hand opinion on the drawing surface of the laptop. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And for more videos like this, do subscribe to KL Gadget TV and follow us on our usual social media platforms. My name is Tarvin and I will see you soon.